Now, I'm not a particularly forward person, but I'd really like to talk about what's in your undies. Now I know, your first reaction is going to be, none of your damn business. But I promise you, my question isn't born from some strange perversion. My segue into your undies is to discuss the use of talcum powder for women and babies. Technically for men too in regards to inhalation. Now most of us think nothing of reaching for a box of baby powder because it must be safe. I mean, after all, it is for babies, right? But did you know there is an increased risk of ovarian cancer when using talcum powder? Some people, mainly those with a vested interest in sales, say there is no definitive link between ovarian cancer and talcum powder. But the fact of the matter is, there have been studies linking a higher risk of ovarian cancer to women using talcum powder in their panties or for perennial hygiene. It's thought that the tiny particles in talcum powder make their way into the vagina and travel up into our uterus where the particles can cause cancerous changes in the cells. Apparently researchers have known this for more than 30 years. And according to the Talcum Powder Cancer Lawsuit Center, the first talcum powder ovarian cancer lawsuit was brought and won against Johnson & Johnson in federal court in 2013. And just for the record, some studies have suggested an increased risk of lung cancer and other respiratory diseases as well. Talc in particular may also increase your lung cancer risk. Again, some people say there's not enough proof. But the real question is, are you and or your children worth the risk? Yes, I know, powder can be delightful on super hot days or for red rashy bottoms, but there are natural alternatives. A few are baking soda, um, corn flour, corn starch, and uh, arrowroot powder. The thing that you want to avoid with all powders is inhalation. Inhalation is not good for the lungs. So that means when you make a powder cloud what, by squeezing the box and the powder shoots out or, you know, just when dusting, avoid inhalation. Inhalation of talcum powder can be life-threatening and particularly to babies and tiny tots. So don't take my word for it. Do your own research. Go online. Uh, make up your own mind. I just wanted to come by and share with you some alternatives because I think you're worth it. I mean, aren't you tired of dis-ease, also known as disease? Then whenever possible, go natural. Work with what Mother Nature has given us. So I hope this video has been useful. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions, please post below in the comments. Thank you for stopping by.